I went through a pretty hard time in my life for a while, working hard every day at a job that didn't make me happy. Besides having to deal with difficult co-workers and a rocky relationship, I had to deal with a lot of different people telling me what to do and what not to do. I honestly felt pretty bad about everything because I knew I was losing control of my life. I felt like I was in the middle of a never-ending hard fight every day. One of those days I was just randomly browsing YouTube when I came across an interesting movie called How Stoicism Can Transform Your Life. It was based on a book by modern philosopher Ryan Holiday. That's when I learned about Stoicism, which I'm very thankful for. Without planning to, I started to use its ideas in my daily life. I did this by reading more about the topic and learning it. That's when things changed in my life. I read more than a dozen books on the subject and became so interested in this theory that I chose to share it with other people. Anxiety and stress turned into peace of mind and calmness. I could see my choices better and make them more in line with my values and good qualities. The most important thing was that I started to see more value in each day. Now I'm going to tell you how stoicism can change your lives. Let's look at what this theory is based on and how it can be used in the modern world. We'll also talk about how these principles can help you face the task of making your life more meaningful again. So, if you're ready to go on this journey of personal discovery and change through stoicism, I invite you to stay with me until the end of this movie. It's going to be one of the most thought-provoking videos on this site. Let us begin my journey into Stoicism, which will be a light in the darkness of my life. By learning about the ideas of great Stoics like Epictetus, Seneca, Marcus Aurelius, and Zeno, I entered a world of very wise people. To put it simply, Stoicism is a way of thinking that focuses on developing morality, self-mastery, and insight. Its main idea is that we can't change the things that happen in the outside world but we can change how we react and see things. We now have a powerful tool to help us deal with life's many obstacles. An important part of Stoicism is being able to tell the difference between what we can change, like our thoughts, actions, and decisions, and what we can't, like outside events and other people's points of view. Stoicism teaches us that we should focus our efforts on things we can change instead of things that can't be changed. That being said, this theory is more than just ideas. It gives us practical ways to live our daily lives that help us deal with stress, anxiety, and depression, make decisions, and find real, lasting happiness. This movie will go over some of Stoicism's most important ideas and how they can be used in real life. We will talk about the importance of values like courage, fortitude, acceptance, and living our lives in line with our core beliefs. This video has useful lessons and ideas for people who have ever felt stressed out by life's demands, wondered how to find peace in the midst of chaos, or looked for ways to make their lives better. You might be able to start over in life with stoicism, which could lead to a fuller, more worthwhile life. But it's important to understand that this philosophy is only meant to help you. You are the one who needs to take action. There is no philosophy that can fully change you. You have to do something to change. Notifications will let you know when I post new videos with helpful tips on how to become a real stoic. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn them on. Let's move forward and find out how this old but still very useful theory can make our lives better, just like it did for me. Imagine that you could put your life back on track by pressing a button that would erase everything. Are you going to do it? Restarting doesn't always mean ignoring or forgetting the past. In fact, it's about learning from past mistakes and using that knowledge to make the future better and more hopeful. Things that get in the way become the way, as Marcus Aurelius told us. He told you, take the next step. That's all you need to do. You can't be stopped. It's an art to start over, a mix between learning from your mistakes and moving on with new hope. The way we respond to things shows how we see them. When we think the world is against us, we act in a protective way, but if we treat it with kindness, our acts show that we love it. Stoicism tells us to question and change how we see life so that we can see truth clearly and objectively without letting our emotions get in the way. Seneca said that we often suffer more in our minds than in real life. There are times when pain is caused by something that hasn't happened yet or only appears in our minds. What if we saw every problem as a chance to make things better?
True Stoics. Don't see problems as fates. They see them as ways to make the spirit stronger. This could lead us to a new road that leads us even farther than we were before. They tell us to see problems as chances to grow, and remind us that just like fire purifies gold, trouble makes strong people even stronger, making us better every day. I believe in Stoicism because of this. In the end, everything we go through can shape our lives. This is what's so great and useful about Stoicism. Marcus Aurelius didn't want the world to read his meditations. Instead, they were his deepest thoughts and daily lessons to live a real and meaningful life. They show how important it is to have conversations with ourselves every day. So, we need to be friends with ourselves. I'm not saying we don't need friends, but I am saying that we should value our own presence wherever we are and be happy with ourselves, no matter who else is around. Dependence on the happiness of others can be the worst trap. Stoicism tells us that everything is temporary, including happiness, pain, success, and failure. It also tells us to live with distance, to value important times, but always be ready to let them go. Epictetus tells us that everything costs something. Pick what you value and be ready to give up the rest. The path of a Stoic is not easy, but it is very fulfilling. It teaches us to love ourselves, get stronger when things get hard, and live with a reason. It can be hard to deal with disrespect or other difficult situations without speaking up, but it's necessary for a happy life. Stoicism stresses how important it is to live in balance with both the outside world and our own inner selves. Am I acting in line with my true desires and principles, or am I just reacting to what other people expect of me? Remember that our thoughts shape our lives and that we are always changing. A lot of the time, we forget who we really are when we try to please other people. Stoicism tells us to know our own worth, regardless of what other people think. Epictetus said, True freedom is not being shackled to the will of others. This means that you are the key to becoming a new person. Accepting doesn't mean giving up your job. It means seeing things as they really are and responding wisely. Acceptance means being aware of the things we can't change but still being able to choose how to respond to them. Figuring out how to deal with truth is what it's all about. We don't wait for the storm to end. We learn how to dance around it. We only really have the present moment. In the present, the past is a memory and the future is an unknown. Right now is where real power is. We can't enjoy the present because we're too busy thinking about the past or worrying about the future. This keeps us stuck in a negative loop. The Stoics didn't just talk about their theory. They tried to live it every day by always trying to get better, learn new things, and grow. What do we want to leave behind? Stoicism teaches that what we do, not what we say, is what leaves a mark on the world. Life isn't judged by how many breaths we take, but by the times when we can't breathe. People often try to take advantage of us, so it's important to remember the power of silence both inside and outside of ourselves. We can get clear, find our purpose, and connect with ourselves more deeply when we are quiet. We can think, relax, and focus on what's important in this place. Don't explain your philosophy, embody it, Epictetus said. This helps us understand that letting go of what's holding us back, like an old grudge or an inaccurate view of who we are, is often the key to moving forward. Stoicism gives us the freedom to seek out our real potential. What kind of thoughts we have is very important to how happy we are. Valuing virtue, which is the good that shows up in our deeds, more than money, power, or fame, means being honest, kind, and trustworthy. We need to think about what traits we are working on while we are on our journey. It's not that we don't have much time to live, but that we waste a lot of it on such small things, says Zeno of Sidium. We can't avoid the problems that come up in life, but Stoicism teaches us that what matters is not what happens to us, but how we deal with it. Not important things should waste your time. Always look for ways to change, because that's how a new you can come out. If this is something you enjoy, don't pass up the chance. Get the ebook Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges Right Now to Improve Your Relationships, Get More Money, and Become More Prosperous. Link in the reply that was pinned. Every problem you face is a chance to learn, grow, and get stronger. It's not about avoiding cuts in life, Epictetus said, but about not giving up when you get hurt. 
When we were younger, the future seemed like it could go in any direction. Then why does it feel like nothing works anymore? It can be a turning point to look back at your actions and figure out what worked and what didn't. On this trip, though, as so many others, a cloud fell on mine. Alcohol, which used to be a once-in-a-while escape from the chaos of the world, became a daily necessity. It made the days and nights darker for me. I found myself drinking every day and hanging out with shallow friends who only cared about drinks. Without drinks, there were no relationships or bonds. It became hard to find happiness, and the relationships I cared about started to fall apart. When I was at the bottom of this spiral of self-destruction, the movie about Stoicism that I talked about at the beginning of this text showed me this philosophy for the first time. That's when I understood what Stoicism is really about. That movie was the start of a new phase in my life. I decided to change who I was and adopted Stoicism as my way of life. This writing is meant to be the start of your new life. Write down I will be a new person and the date of today. Let's start a fresh start right now. Just as Seneca talked about how unchecked emotions can lock us up, I thought about how my alcoholism had locked me up and taken over my life. Getting sober was the first thing that Marcus Aurelius, Epictetus, and other Stoic thinkers taught me. What I learned is that self-control, being strong in the face of hardship, and realizing that we can't control what people say or do to us, but we can control how we react to these things, so they don't affect us are all very important. Two or three years after this turning point, I have left the old version of myself behind. I'm thankful every day that I found Stoicism at that important time. I chose to change and be different, so I went two years without drinking a drop. That was four months ago. How long are you going to wait to change? This way of thinking taught me to value life, be strong in tough situations, and find real freedom. My life is no longer run by alcohol. I am now in charge of my own clarity and mission. Now, it's my job to teach you all of these things. Stoic teachings have been a light in the darkest and hardest hours, even though the road hasn't been easy. Here are some ideas for how to get better at things and start using transformative practices every day. Following them from today, or rather right now, will put you on the path to full renewal and a clear, well-planned future. 1. Time to reflect in the morning. Set aside a few minutes every morning to relax. Think about what happened the day before and picture how you want today to go. This will help you mentally get ready for challenges and stay calm when things get stressful. 2. Gratitude. Journal. Every day write down three things you're thankful for. This helps you see the good in things and enjoy the little things in life. 3. Regular physical activity. Do some form of physical activity every day. A healthy body was important to the Stoics. You can stay healthy by walking, running, doing yoga, or anything else you enjoy. 4. Principle of Control When you're facing problems, remember the Stoic principle that says you should separate what you can control from what you can't. Then you should focus on making smart choices and accepting what you can't change. Self-discipline Work on being more self-disciplined when it comes to eating, money, and time management. Make goals that you can actually reach and keep working toward them. 6. Nightly Self-Assessment Think about what you did during the day before going to sleep. Check to see if your actions were in line with your beliefs and the stoic way of life. If not, make a list of things you could do better and start planning. 7. Learning from Inspiring Examples Read books or biographies about people like Seneca, Epictetus, and Marcus Aurelius, who lived by Stoic ideals, and learn from their experiences. 8. Not caring too much about what other people think. Don't worry too much about what other people think. Make an effort to follow your own morals and beliefs. 9. Being aware that life is temporary. Remember that death is inevitable and use that fact to drive you to value life and make smart choices. Skill development. Make time to learn new skills or get better at the ones you already have. In Stoicism, growing as a person is important because it gives you more courage to face challenges. 11. Accepting what you can't change. 
Know that what happens to you doesn't hurt you unless you choose it to. Accepting what you can't change makes you less stressed. 12. Valuing authenticity in relationships. Look for relationships based on virtue that are real and good for both people. 13. Reading philosophical texts every day. Make a promise to read philosophical texts or works by Stoic authors every day and think about what they teach and how it can apply to your life. 14. Contemplation of death. Take some time to think about your own death. This will help you put your daily worries in perspective and appreciate the time you have. 15. Developing positive self-respect. Instead of judging yourself for things you can't change, deal with problems with self-compassion and drive. 16. Altruism and community involvement. To feel more meaning and fulfillment, look for ways to help others without expecting anything in return. Remember that practicing stoicism all the time is necessary and won't make you feel better right away, but over time, it can change your life and the way you think. When things get hard, know that the obstacle is the way. In hard times, look for ways to grow and learn, keep your wants and feelings in check, and work on developing emotional self-discipline. For your mental and emotional health, learn to understand how others feel, control your bad urges, and set healthy limits. In conclusion, Stoicism is a strong way to change yourself. We've talked about some daily habits that are based on this old theory and can help you develop self-discipline, resilience, and peace in your everyday life. Write down everything that is important in this book. This will be very helpful for your growth. Some of the practices are morning meditation, kindness, and helping others. These give people the tools they need to deal with problems calmly and clearly. But the important thing is to act. Mark Antony said, Take the first step. It's not enough to know these ideas. You need to use them every day. Begin right now. Choose one or more of these habits and watch how they change your outlook and health over time. Show your support if this text has helped you and you want more advice on personal growth and useful thought. We want to know how these practices change your journey of transformation and what you'd like to see more of in future books. Remember that the way to a fuller and more meaningful life starts with small actions taken every day and following stoic ideals all the time. In the style of this channel, I'd like to offer a reflection. Have you ever had to deal with a big problem? Why might using Stoic ideas have changed the way you saw things or helped you in that situation? If you think this way of thinking would have helped you in the past, please share your story in the comments. Thank you all for being here and continuing to support us. I hope this thought has been useful. Also, there are some important things you should start doing first thing in the morning if you really want to change your life. There's a movie here for you. Be still and know that God made you.